Hey, welcome to the Princeton Research Farm uh, here in Princeton, Illinois. I'm Don Kyle. I'm a soybean breeder with Corteva, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what we're doing to develop today's soybean varieties and, uh, and tell you a little bit more about our new Enlist soybean varieties. So, you know, as I think back about the history of soybean breeding within Corteva, you know, we started building our germplasm in the early 1970s. And as a plant breeding organization, you know, to have a strong germplasm base to mine and explore is really one of the most critical things you could start with. And uh, I feel really good about where we're at with our germplasm today. But I want to tell you about a couple things that really enabled us to get to where we're at today and to enable us to be better in the future. So the first revolution I want to talk about is the genotyping revolution. The ability for us to go in and look at the DNA inside a soybean plant and, and really understand where those useful genes are, where the non-desirable genes are, and really be able to breed for those, intentionally select for those as a breeder. And so that was a revolution that really started early on in my career. And uh, we've been using it for a long time. I'm sure you've heard of talks about us, especially if we went through, you know, our Y series soybeans, our T series soybeans, and now our A series soybeans, and really using that AYT technology to enable us to uh, genotype and really explore our germplasm. The revolution that's going on today is around phenotyping. So phenotyping is how we measure things. And so as we think about using drone-based UAS type uh, uh, devices, or we look at robotics or remote sensing devices, our ability to more precisely measure things in the field, in the environments we wanna explore, or whether that's in a growth chamber somewhere to understand the phenotypes that we're trying to select for to bring to our customers is increasing every day. It's also giving us more precise data and we're being more effective at collecting it. So as you bring those two things, two pieces of information together, what's going on inside the plant and what type of phenotypes are we seeing outside the plant that that plant is exhibiting? We start to bring those two things together and develop the type of genetic gain we're seeing in today's soybean varieties. The third thing that I want to bring up is our ability to collaborate within Corteva. As a, as a ag-only uh, company, uh, we have multiple groups, uh, multiple research platforms that we're collaborating across. So myself as a soybean breeder, I'm interacting with other soybean breeders around the North America, around the globe as well. I'm also interacting with corn breeders, sorghum breeders, sunflower breeders. There's a whole network of experts out there that I'm able to collaborate with to understand how they're enabling uh, increased genetic gain and what tools they're using in their crops so that we can use those in soybean breeding as well to continue to, to improve our varieties. The other piece of this is really, uh, it's not just around breeding. So we have crop modelers, crop physiologists, chemical scientists, people in crop protection, agronomists, and so on that basically enable us to collaborate across the organization to really understand what type of products our customers need and then for us to be able to go and develop those within our plant breeding organization. So as we think about the performance of our products on our customers acres we know there's a lot of volatility and variability from one year to the next especially with the weather events we've been encountering. And one thing we want to avoid is to make sure that even though the weather is going to be variable from year to year that the performance of our products is quite consistent. And so the way we test today is different than the way we've tested in the past. So when we go out and test in environments, we're both we're looking at a large region uh, of data in order to really understand how consistent these products handle different environments across a pretty large region. We're also testing locally, especially with our impact trials, to make sure that those products that we select perform at their optimum in this environment, but also perform stable when the weather is not consistent with what we normally experience in the growing region where we're gonna sell that product. And so as we, as we think about you know, the database of information we've collected since the early 1970s of soybean breeding within Corteva, you know, we're able to go back and look at the weather and the germplasm and the information we've collected over that time period and apply that to today's selection and really understand these varieties that we're developing, how will they react in these type of environments they haven't experienced before? And that gives us the ability to really sort out and understand you know, how those products might perform in particular environments that we haven't experienced over that four or five years that we've been testing them before they go to our customers. 
and that helps that it helps ensure that stability because as we know with the volatility in the weather and today's tight margins in the ag economy being a consistent product is really important to be able to uh, continue to be successful for our customers the other piece about consistency that i'd like to bring up is around agronomics so soybeans you know definitely have some sensitivity to certain diseases and agronomic issues and those can really be expressed under certain weather events so we've continued to hone in and, to, and improve our ability to understand uh, disease characterization such as sudden death syndrome or soybean cyst nematode or white mold tolerance or plant standability at the end of season or lodging resistance as we like to call, call it those are key agronomic benefits to our customers and we like to ensure that our products are well characterized for that, that we understand them and we continue to improve on the consistency and the ability of those plants to be uh, successful in environments that have those diseases or agronomic challenges. So as you can see, as I pointed out, we have a lot of knowledge around the products we're developing and one of the key pieces that I think is really true for our Pioneer brand products is our ability to transfer that knowledge from what I learn and from what other breeders and researchers learn about our products through their experimental testing phases out to our sales reps and agronomists so that they could share that information and help our customers be successful with our products. So an example I can give you, in Corteva we have many brands of products, seed brands that we sell, but Pioneer brand is our flagship brand and as a plant breeder, a majority of my time is spent helping ensure that our agronomists and sales reps understand the information that I'm able to help them with to understand those products, as well as for me to understand what they're seeing with our product performance and how they work on their particular acres and learn from our customers what their experiences are so that I can take that back to our plant breeding uh, program here in Princeton and ensure that our future products continue to evolve and, and improve in the areas that our customers expect them to improve in. So as you understand, we have a, a vast network of knowledge that we collect through that four or five years of testing around our experimental products before we deliver them to our customers. And you know that knowledge is not really useful unless it's in the hands of our sales reps and agronomists so that they can work with our customers to make sure those products are placed right so that our customers understand them well and can utilize them to be successful. And so as a plant breeder, uh, I spend a good amount of time interacting with our sales reps and agronomists to understand our customer needs and to also share knowledge about the products we're bringing. And so that interaction that I have enables them to be more successful at helping our customers. It also enables me to understand more about our customer needs, to, de to develop future products that meet the, the needs of our customers and help them be successful. So as you look at our testing network today, how we're able to test across a wide area, across years, and then also test vigorously in a local geography to find products, look at the disease screens, the agronomic information that we're able to collect. It really gives us an opportunity to make sure that we deliver consistent and stable products to the marketplace and continue to develop and improve our germplasm. I'm excited about the current enlist products we, we deliver to our customers that we're selling right now. We understand them well and we've delivered that knowledge out to our sales reps and, they, and they're going to be able to help place those products with our customers in the future. And then as a plant breeder, you know, as I look into the material that's coming out over the next few years within the Enlist technology, I'm very excited about what I'm seeing and very encouraged to see that those products are continuing to be improvements upon what we currently sell and very excited that I think our customers are going to experience high levels of success with those Enlist products that we'll see in the marketplace in the years to come.